With every release of Autodesk FeatureCam, we look to improve your experience when using our software. And FeatureCam 2018 is no different. So here's a short list of everything we've done relating to your user experience and workflow. The most significant change is the addition of a new ribbon interface. This provides easy access to the tools you need with icons, accompanying text and dynamic help. Similar functionality has been grouped together, with the most used tools appearing on the Home tab for added convenience. You can now create features directly from the ribbon, removing the number of steps required in the feature wizard, helping to reduce your programming time. The ribbon is fully customizable, allowing you to add and remove icons, group similar tools, and personalize your working environment. All your in-software options are now located in a single dialog, making it easier to navigate to and configure your settings. The stock can now be renamed from within the part view. This change helps if you want to cross-reference a billet number or material grade. A new simulation heads-up display makes validating your programming quicker. With the added ability to step back during simulation, you now have more control as you visualize your programming and assess your toolpaths. After a machine simulation, we now print your machine's axis travel for active features in the details tab. This will let you quickly check that you are within your machine working envelope if you do not have machine limits set within your machine design file. New NC code tools improve your workflow once your program has been created. Save your code to be sent to a machine. Make quick changes to your code output using find and replace. Or if you have a multi-channel program, you can view, edit, and align your weight codes with the multi-channel editor. Dynamic Help offers instant, simple instructions about software functionality, giving you an insight into what you're about to click on. Dynamic help options can be accessed from the help menu, with the option to switch them on or off and change their delay. 